Okay, and we are back. So now we're going to address this question. Uh, which numbers are, are really, how are these guys ordered? So the first thing I want to look at is um, in regards to, um, let's say, epsilon and epsilon squared. So we know that, um, we know that epsilon is positive, right? Uh, and it's, but we also know it's an infinitesimal. So those two facts, let's say that, uh, oops, I don't know, at least. So I know that epsilon is, say, less than, well, it's less than every real number, so in particular it's less than one. And we know that epsilon is positive. Okay, now where have we seen this idea before? Back to our rules, if I have a um, less than b and c is positive, then I can multiply both sides and preserve that inequality. So that's exactly the scenario we have right here. We have that epsilon is bigger, kind of black these off, that epsilon's less than one and epsilon is positive. So that means I can multiply both sides by epsilon. So this tells me that epsilon squared is less than epsilon. So now if I take epsilon and I square it, I would be less than epsilon. And in fact, I can do it again. This tells me that again, if I take this inequality, I can still multiply by epsilon. And this tells me that epsilon cubed is less than epsilon squared which from the above line is less than epsilon. So we already have a relationship here uh, just using that first rule, the fact that epsilon is less than one, and one was arbitrary, but in this case it helped us with the proof because uh, epsilon is less than every real number, but epsilon is positive. So then multiply both sides by epsilon, I get epsilon squared is less than epsilon. Multiply both sides again, I get that epsilon cubed is less than epsilon squared, which we already know is less than epsilon. So that means in here, I've got um, maybe epsilon cubed here and epsilon squared there. Now, if at first you're thinking, wait, 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 when you square something that gets bigger, consider this. Take any real number between 0 and 1, say 1 half. And if you squared it, you would get 1 fourth. So let me uh, just kind of do a little... Uh, side work over here. So just to show that your intuition, this doesn't really blow your mind intuition-wise, that zero is less than one half, is less than one, and one four, which is one half squared, is still less than one half. So we took this number, squared it, and we actually got small. So yes, if you're bigger than one and you square it, you're going to get bigger. So 2 squared is 4. It definitely gets bigger. But 1 half squared is 1 fourth, and it's, you guessed it, smaller. So that's the same with epsilon with infinitesimals. They're super small. They're definitely less than 1. So if you square it, you cube it, raise it to the 50th power, it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, these guys. So that kind of dealt with powers of epsilon. How about multiples of epsilon? So I've got seven times epsilon, and you can think of this as epsilon divided by 100. You could also think of it as epsilon times one over 100. So we're gonna look at these guys now. And kind of use the same idea though, because we know that, um, well, in particular we know that one over 100 is definitely less than one, and definitely less than seven. So we've got 1 over 100, that's related to this guy, and 7 over here, and the 1, you'll see why we need that. But this is hopefully definitely true. And epsilon still greater than 0, so that means this inequality I can multiply by epsilon. So this tells me that epsilon over 100 has to be less than epsilon, less than 7 times epsilon. So now we know that epsilon over 100 is less than epsilon but less than seven or epsilon. So we know where to put epsilon over 100 is gonna be less than here, but 
How about its comparison to epsilon squared? Okay, so now we need to um, use this idea that epsilon over, uh, sorry, epsilon is uh, less than 1 over 100. Okay, ask yourself, why is that true? Well, 1 over 100 is a real number. Epsilon is an infinitesimal. And so as an infinitesimal, it's smaller than every real number. You give me the smallest real number, and epsilon will be smaller than it. Okay? So I've got this natural relationship. Epsilon is definitely less than 1 over 100. And again, I'm going to do the same business. Then I can multiply uh, each side by epsilon, which tells me that epsilon squared is less than epsilon over 100. So now I know that epsilon squared is less than epsilon over 100, which is less than epsilon, and that's less than 7 epsilon. And so I can come back here and start filling in my line. I know that um, uh, epsilon squared is less than epsilon over 100, so that means ooh, epsilon over 100 is somewhere around here. And then 7 epsilon is maybe sitting right here. So now my inequalities comparison goes negative epsilon is less than zero, is less than epsilon cubed, is less than epsilon squared, is less than epsilon over 100, is less than epsilon, is less than seven epsilon. Now we've got two more, these two values here, square root of epsilon and epsilon plus square root of epsilon. And we need to ask ourselves, where do these sit in the comparison? Now, this is definitely takes a little bit more ingenuity. Um, so if this idea didn't come to you when you were working this problem on yourself, that's all right. Um, but um, it goes a little something like this. We know that 0 is less than epsilon, and that's less than 1 over 49. Now, you may be asking, why? I mean, yes, it's true, because 1 over 49 is a um, real number, so this inequality is definitely true, but why am I looking at that? Well, it comes back to this, that I'm going to want to take the square root of both sides. And so if that's true, then 0 is less than the square root of epsilon is less than the square root of 1 over 49 which is equal to 1 over 7. Okay, so far so good. And now I can multiply everything by 7, and this gives me that 0 is less than 7 square root of epsilon is less than 1. And now I can multiply everything by the square root of epsilon, giving me that 0 is less than... 7 epsilon is less than the square root of epsilon. So it was kind of a nice uh, move. I, got, I, 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 I actually, when I worked the problem, I worked it backwards. I made a guess. So I just kind of give you some insight into my thinking. I said, I think that 7 epsilon is less than square root of epsilon. And then I just started playing around with it. Well, I divided, and that would have gotten me here. And then if I divided by 7, that would have gotten me here. And then squaring both sides get me here. So I actually worked it backwards to know where to begin. But the logic really starts here. So follow me, if you will, that epsilon is less than 1 over 49. I take square roots of both sides. That gives me the square root of epsilon is less than the square root of 1 over 49. And the square root of 149 is 1 Multiplied both sides or everything through by 7. Uh, 0 times 7 is 0. I get 7 times root epsilon, and then 7 times 1 seventh is 1. And finally, in the last step, I multiplied everything by the square root of epsilon. So 0 times the square root of epsilon is still 0. Seven, so root epsilon times root epsilon is epsilon, and then 1 by root epsilon is this. So I get this inequality that uh, 7 epsilon is less than epsilon. So I can put that over here. That root epsilon is somewhere over here. And then finally, I can take this 
Um, it's, if they're not too trivial, you can see that root epsilon plus epsilon has got to be here. Well, why is, why is that? Um, well, all we're doing is um, um, adding um, epsilon, uh, root epsilon to, to, to both sides. So I know that um, zero is less than epsilon. And then using um, our addition rule right here, if I add anything to both sides, it still preserves it. And so adding root epsilon, I get that um, zero plus root epsilon is less than epsilon plus root epsilon. And of course, this is just root epsilon and less than root epsilon plus epsilon. So now we have uh, the, the, the full comparison. We have that negative epsilon is less than epsilon cubed. Oops. Is less than epsilon squared. Is less than epsilon over 100. Is less than epsilon. Is less than 7 epsilon. Is less than root epsilon. Is less than root epsilon plus epsilon.